Hey, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a program called Android on Windows Tools. In short, it is called AOW Tools. It is actually available on Microsoft Store. You can get it from here for free. But if you want to support the developer of this application, you can also buy it for $1.99. If you use Windows subsystem for Android, this tool is going to be really helpful. In my opinion, this is one of the best tool to use on Windows 11 WSA, Windows subsystem for Android. Using this tool, you can install any APK files to WSA. You can manage your installed applications. You can also see which applications are running in background. You can also transfer files in between Windows subsystem for Android and Windows 11. This tool is all-in-one tool and easy to use ADB tool for Android. Just in case if you don't use Windows 11 and WSA, then you can actually use this tool for your Android phone too. Just connect your phone to your PC and then go to device. In here, you'll see list of Android devices connected to your PC. Right now, I'm just using a Windows subsystem for Android. So you can see Win 11 and I know that this is a Windows subsystem for Android. But if you have connected your phone to your PC, you can see your phone here and from here you can select and you can do all the things what this application allows you to do. It also gives you the info about your phone, what Android version it is running and your latest security update and your model number. If you go to the settings, you can change some settings for this application and there are some other uh, functions that you can add to this tool such as a SCRCPY. This is a tool which allows you to mirror your Android phone to your PC. Just in case if you don't know what SCRCPY is, it is a free tool to mirror your phone to your PC. I have actually made a video in this topic. If you want to, I will put link in the description for that video. You can go there and watch it and learn more about it. And there is a ADB uh, configuration. If you're someone like advanced uh, Android ADB user, you use ADB a lot. Uh, then you'll understand everything. You can do everything what you do with the ADB tools. Okay, so that's that. So let me quickly demonstrate uh, a APK installer. Actually, if you go into uh, the description and features uh, for this application, this application actually supports APK and also XAPK, APKM and other installation. Normally, you know, we download APK file, but there are other formats of APK files too. So it supports other APK file formats too. So, which is great in my opinion. So I'm gonna go and install F-Droid. I downloaded a F-Droid APK file. It is a open source app store with open source applications. I'm just going to do a drag and drop and you can see it is installed. And if we check our start menu, you can see the F-Droid is installed. I can just simply open it and it is working. Now, if we go to the apps section, we will see a list of all the applications that we manually installed using a APK file or using a Google Play Store. I have installed a Google Play Store on uh, Windows 11 WSA. You know, once you install the Play Store, APK installer becomes like not that usable, but you know, there are some applications which are not available in Google Play Store. So you can use this, you know, easy to use APK installer for your Windows 11 WSA. And if you need to transfer any file or folder, you can go to the file section uh, if you need to transfer any file from a Windows to WSA, then click on Upload. If you want to transfer files from Windows subsystem for Android to Windows, then you can click on Download. I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you have any question or any suggestion, please do the comment. And that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.